Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the count complete tree notes problem. Given a complete binary tree, count the number of nodes. Note the definition of a complete binary tree from Wikipedia. In a complete binary tree, every level, except possibly the last, is completely filled, and all nodes in the last level are as far left as possible. It can have between 1 and 2 to the h nodes inclusive at the last level h. So for example, in this case the input is this complete binary tree, and the output is 6 because there are 6 nodes. So how can we solve this problem? Well, we can solve this problem recursively and iteratively. In this video I'll teach you a recursive solution, and first I'll teach you the brute force solution or the naive solution that doesn't take advantage of all the properties of this tree. So first, I will say if root equals equals no, if I have an empty tree, then I return zero because there are zero nodes. There are there are no nodes. Otherwise, I return count nodes of root that left plus count nodes of root that right plus one. So as you can see, I have one node here, so that's the plus one, and then all the nodes in the left subtree plus all the nodes in the right subtree recursively. I'm going to run the code. I'm going to submit the solution. All right, this is working, but this is this can be improved. What we can do is that we can take advantage of the definition of the binary tree. It is a complete binary tree. So a complete binary tree can be a perfect binary tree. And a perfect binary tree is a tree where all the levels are completely filled. So this complete binary tree could be a perfect binary tree. In that case, we need to check that. If it is a perfect binary tree, the number of nodes in a perfect binary tree is equal to 2 to the height minus 1. So we can optimize. We can do this. I'm going to remove the base case here and I'm going to say the following. I will have two variables, integer left height, case of value of 0, and right height, case of value of 0. I will also have a pointer p left initially at the root and p right initially at the root. Then I will get the number of nodes in the leftmost branch and also the number of nodes in the rightmost branch. And that's going to be the height. So I will get I will do while p left is not equal to null, I will increment h left plus plus h left height of the left and p left because the value of p left that left. I will also check how many nodes there are in the rightmost branch. So I will say if while p right is not equal to null plus plus h right the height of the right p right because the value of p right that right so I will traverse the entire rightmost branch and get a number of nodes in that path in the rightmost branch and then I need to check if it is a perfect binary tree how do I check if this complete binary tree is perfect I compare the left height and the right height and if they are the same then this is a perfect binary tree. So if h left equals equals h right then what I can do is that I can return cast into an integer mass that pow the power of 2 raised to the height h left minus 1. That way, if the complete binary tree happens to be a perfect binary tree, I can 
immediately return this and I can avoid the recursive calls. I'm going to run the code alright I'm going to submit a solution okay this is working perfectly so as you can see the time complexity um, depends on the property of perfect binary tree or complete binary tree if it is a perfect binary tree then it's going to be big O of H where H is the height of the tree but if the tree is not perfect then it's going to be big O of N where N is the number of nodes in the tree. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.